Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've actually got a lot of cool new stuff to go over when it comes to Jurassic World Dominion. Casting news, filming locations, and even details about the film's overall production are topics that I want to cover in today's video. So today actually marks the day that none other than Sam Neill himself gets back to filming. The actor gave us a pretty fun message on social media recently telling us to hold on to our hats because he's putting Dr. Grant's old one back on this week in order to return to the franchise. Interestingly, new reports also seem to indicate that Alan, as well as Owen and Claire, will all be filming new scenes on the Mediterranean island of Malta towards the end of August. Now, we've known that they were scheduled to shoot out there for quite some time now, but just getting news that they could finally be headed out there soon is quite exciting. Speaking of Malta, if we check out Jurassic Outpost's write-up on this information, they list the Old Times Malta article as a source for our first look at the production budget for the movie, which is reportedly around a whopping $235 million. For those of you who are unaware, that is a lot of money, and it's actually the most money that Universal and Amblin have poured into a Jurassic film like ever. The fourth film in the franchise only cost around $150 million to make, and its sequel, Fallen Kingdom, only $170 million. The reason this is such big news is because other big franchise properties like Marvel and Star Wars always have budgets that are around or exceeding $200 million when they're expected to make really good bank. So seeing them roll out the big boy money for this final part of the Jurassic World trilogy would be a really cool thing if this information turns out to actually be true. Another thing I wanted to talk about in this video actually happens to be a very interesting comment left by someone who I did not expect on another cast member's Instagram page. So look, recently Laura Dern happened to post a fun little image of an Ellie Sattler action figure. Her caption saying, in quarantine getting ready to get back to work. So naturally a whole bunch of people thought that was clever and other big names started commenting on it as well. But then a certain Jurassic Park cast member from the past also left a reply that surprised a lot of people to say the least. Julianne Moore, the actress that played none other than Dr. Sarah Harding, happened to drop some encouragement and positivity on Laura Dern's page and this got a whole lot of people's attention. Now of course this does not confirm that Dr. Harding will be returning after having not made an appearance since The Lost World all those years ago, but man, it definitely is an idea that's gotten a lot of people excited about the possibility. You've got Sarah commenting on Ellie's post in a new Jurassic World Dominion style mock-up teaser. I mean, it's gonna turn some heads. Finally, there's also been some interesting additions to the cast made kind of quietly on the film's IMDb page. Actors Enzo Squilino Jr. and John Flanagan are apparently joining in, the latter of which is listed as a scientist, by the way. However, Christopher Palaha has also been added to the cast for the specific role of a man named Wyatt Huntley. Now, this caught a lot of people's attention due to the fact that another character by the name of Wyatt actually made an appearance in the canon prequel novel that came out in 2018 called The Evolution of Claire. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is supposed to be the same character that we got to meet in that earlier book, and honestly, I think I have my doubts about this is who Palaha is supposed to be. However, I do think that the possibility of tying in characters and situations from the expanded universe is a pretty cool idea. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if more information ever comes out that clarifies this little Wyatt detail. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all of the new details that have come out surrounding Dominion in the past few weeks. Now, in my personal Personal opinion, the idea of having Sarah Harding return would be really, really cool, but I don't think we have enough evidence to support that happening like at all anytime soon. But man, I hope we get some eventually. Out of curiosity, I'd love to know which piece of information we went over here that happens to be your favorite detail. Do you think the reports surrounding the film's budget are legit? And who could Palaha really be playing in the next film? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, 
Take it easy.